founded Terra, we had no idea of limits. So probably I did think that for the first 20 days or so. <laughs> and then it became very clear that it was going to be a huge amount of work for us to get here. And it was going to take a very good team of people. And it's taken us a long time to assemble that team. And I think now that we've gotten it, yeah, yeah. But it's it was it was very clear that the vision of where we wanted to be was was going to take a lot more time and a lot more effort and luck and, and help than I than I realized at the beginning. The first thing we need to do is we need to solidify our victories. We need to be sure that we have our victories here in, inside Kintin, by Tranquilo, we need to make sure that we have those solid. Then I hope we're going to be able to move on to, to more areas, and I hope that our connections to Mexican society um, and to donors on both sides of the border will be a lot stronger than they are now. Um, that, that's where I want us to be. 21 years ago, when I was with Pro Esqueros, we started the project to conserve Punta Mosa. 15, 16 years ago, 17 years ago, we started the project with the Nature Conservancy to conserve Punta Mosa. Tara has been working on that with no thought that we would be able to achieve anything with just one problem thrown in front of us after another after another. And the fact that we are celebrating 15 years of Terra and I think now four years of having preserved Punta Masso is the, is the greatest victory I've ever hoped to achieve in my life. I'm just so thrilled. Everybody is so committed, they work so well together, we are able to make contacts with, with funders, with scientists, with regulators, with the local community. Um, it just feels like it, it all has come together. And I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to be part of it.